Uh, Utaka Farms. Uh, Utaka Farms in Abuja by BIC Farms Concept in a system that is called Responsive Technique System. Now, how does this work? You can see those beautiful vegetables. They are grown in cocoa peat substrate in what we call an RDT pipe. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you are seeing this. So the drip system is actually on the base. It's under the planting medium. It does not have emitting holes for dripping water like a normal drip irrigation system. Let me show you what a normal drip irrigation system looks like. That is what we have here. If you look at this, you can see the water dripping. That's the nutrient. It's dripping. This is called an emitter. So it's dripping. It's controlled by a valve somewhere at the beginning of each system that is deployed. So you allow it to drip for some minutes. We lock it. It's timed. We have to calculate the amount of water that each plant needs. And that's what we use in controlling the valve. But here, with the RDT, the RDT does not have an emitting hole at all. It has what we call a micropore. It has a micropore. The micropore, let me try to open a system that has not been planted. Can you open up here? system that has not been planted so that you see how the RDT looks in the substrate that's it. so if can you see here now that's the RDT you are looking at there so you can cover it back so what it does the RDT carries the nutrient inside of it it goes in like that and it stores the nutrient it is now the plant root. When plant needs water or nutrient, it releases something called exudate. It's a chemical composition that is organically released by the plant. Every plant, either grass, tree, vegetable, releases exudate from time to time whenever nutrient is needed. So as it releases this exudate, that drip is designed with an artificial intelligence sense. It responds to the exudate and the pores are open. Then water and nutrient comes out by itself. So water and nutrient comes out by itself. These are just planted. As they grow, you get to see and um, understand the functionality more. So the plant by itself draws out the nutrient, the water that it needs part time, any time of the day. So it's the most efficient form of drip irrigation system invented in the world. It's the best of its kind. It saves so much water, more than the normal drip. It gives plant better response to its environment it takes the water as it needs it. Look at your skin. Normally, uh, the environment determines how your skin responds to it. In a particular environment, I may be sweating, you may not be sweating. For example, I'm inside the, uh, the greenhouse. I don't know if you can see me. Somehow I'm sweating. Look at this young person. He's not sweating. His own skin is not responding to the environment the way my skin is responding to the environment. He is not sweating. I am sweating. John, look up. John is not sweating. 
but I am sweating. So that's my body. My skin is responding to the environment. My pores are opening. You get what I'm saying? So that's exactly what happens. Each plant takes the nutrients as it needs it. It's not regulated by we. It's not even substrate regulated. Some high tech uh, irrigation system, you put a sensor in the substrate. It's the sensor that releases, once the substrate is at a particular level that we have set it, the sensor opens the valve, nutrient or water is allowed, then the sensor closes back. That is not how an RDT works. By itself, self-releasing. Artificial intelligence at its best. The good news without electricity. It works without electricity. So it's, it's very awesome, amazing. Uh, it has a control. It's deployed from this end. You can see the valve that controls it. You can see the RDT. That's called responsive drip irrigation system. So it's connected. And each plant draws out uh, what it needs. You've been seeing a lot of these. Uh, from time to time now because it's the biggest thing that has happened in the world of drip irrigation uh, smart agriculture all over the world and it's been done already so thank you for uh, for listening and watching you can send your question if you have any and then um, if you are interested you can also get across to us you know you can get across and let's let's get you going with this type of system you need less uh people because it self-regulates so it reduces manpower and so many things it's is the best of its kind so i i am sure we will like this and more of this will be coming up uh with some of the things we'll be doing in not too far distance from now. So, you can, if you have questions, please, you can go ahead. And probably by tomorrow, myself and my partner will talk more about this at the Farmer Ask This uh, segment. So, but I think you have learned one or two things. So, thank you for watching, Ambassador Shola. <laughs> thank you. Watch it, Pastor Soji, Bobayo, Yusuf.